gig at Cole Park here in Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm getting packed up. My car's right there. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the day in a life of a gigging musician. Make sure you bring water, make sure you bring snacks. Here's all my gear, got all my cases ready to go. So it's important, you know, you kind of prep so you can get out the door really quickly if you need to. Cymbal bag, bass drum pedal, double, double kick pedal. That's a snare bag, but I actually put my throne in it. My throne's pretty fancy. Tama makes some really nice, fancy thrones. So I try to keep them nice. All this goes in the car. So I'm getting everything loaded up. It's kind of Tetris with, uh, you know, hardware and drums, but I've, traveled and played a lot of gigs so I kind of know what I need to do to get the you know floor time in there bass drum cymbals so try not to forget everything and then when you're all packed up it's time to go I had a little bit of time so I played with Julian before I left for the gig for the day what's up so heading to the gig I got about 30 minutes to set up this is at a park and uh, it's a nice sunny day, so it should be fun. Almost there, beautiful location here at Corpus Christi, Texas, Cole Park. So I'm at the gig, I'm getting my drums out the car and going to place them where they need to be set up. So it's definitely a process and I love showing up and whoever's there is usually like, they see me carrying this big old bass drum and they're gonna say, hey, do you play drums? Are you the drummer? I'm just like, Yes, I'm the drummer. But anyways, I take a look around, trying to get a sense of how it's gonna sound. But the sound engineers are there already, kind of getting stuff set up. So yeah, I kind of figured out a place to put my kit and started getting set up. This is the Tama Hyperdrive Duo kit and it sounds amazing. All, everyone who heard it like was like, wow, this kit's beautiful and it sounds awesome. So I'm so grateful to be a Tama artist. Get my tom set up. Got a new uh, Evans custom head on the front. You see that textured looking cool, cool, cool colors. So yeah, the sound engineer was asking me about it. He's like, hey, what's this kit? This is really cool. And I'm like, this is my second kit. My Tama star is at home, oh, my Babinga kit. And so he was still really impressed and they were all looking at it. So yeah, everything's set up now. Evans heads on everything. Uh, Tama drums, minor cymbals, minor percussion, Promark sticks, so Sure mics on, on everything. So my dream is to, to work with Sure because they are so dope. So check up a up close look at that Tama head. You can get a vintage or a custom Tama head on the uh, Diadario website. So go check that out and get yours. So here's a look into my stick bag. I have a wide variety, I have, you know, the, the grip tape on some of it. I have, you know, signature sticks. I have the fire grain sticks. Um, I have Anakanayo signature sticks. I got two stick bags just in case I need something really close to grab. If you drop a stick, you don't want to have to be looking around. So yeah, check out those Sure mics. Uh, the sound engineer brought them, hooked them up. Everything was sounding super, super cool. And I, yeah, I'm all about, you know, showing up and everything's kind of in place, but it, it is something cool about being in a receptive kit. But ideally, I have a sound tech, a drum tech, and everyone is, you know, setting up my stuff. I show up with sticks and I'm ready to play. That's my ideal gig. But uh, yeah, it's nice to play local. This gig was 30 minutes away, so it was super cool. So here's me, my kit. Everyone's starting to show up. Guitar player's here, bass player, singer, everyone's here. So I'm playing with this group called Afterglow, located in Corpus Christi, Texas. So if you're ever in this area, definitely come, come and check us out. And uh, yeah, super, super cool. See me pointing at the kit, it's, it's a beautiful kit. And it sounds amazing, it's maple, maple wood, so yeah. So it's nice to show up to a gig and I have the time and space to set up, but then like Gary, the keyboard player gets there, I'm not in his way. And so I was ready to do sound check. Sound check the drums, snare, bass, toms, and then the full kit and everything.
So as you all can see, it takes a lot of preparation before you get to the show and you actually play the music. So rehearsing, personal practice, preparing your instruments, making sure you have everything you need in order for you to show up and play your best with your equipment. No matter what equipment it is, preparation is the key to success. So I hope this video was like helpful and somewhat insightful on the life of a gigging musician that doesn't necessarily have drum techs and people setting up their gear. I'm all about the drum techs. So at any time I have them, I'm so grateful. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please feel free to like and subscribe. God bless. Just like that, the gig is over. Done, pack up, put all the stuff back in your car and safely travel to wherever you live. So I love playing, I love playing drums. I've been doing this since I was like a little kid. So this is truly a blessing. Every chance and opportunity I get to play music, to spread love with my instrument, to glorify God and to give thanks. This is, uh, this is why I do it.